everything. Everything. So. Uh, just whatever the fire touched or burned. Tragedy in Yarnell. The country is mourning the loss of 19 firefighters killed while working that fast-moving fire right here in Arizona. Our team has been working through the night for you following this developing tragedy. And we have complete coverage here on air and online. You can count on us all day long as we continue to cover this. We begin now with the very latest as you wake up. This fire is burning in Yarnell, which is along State Route 89. That's just southwest of Prescott, about 85 miles northwest of Phoenix, the town made up of more than 600 residents. 6,000 acres have burned so far, and at least 250 structures, almost half the town has been destroyed, including buildings and homes. Now, this fire started Friday by lightning, and it is 0% contained as you wake up this morning. It is 12.08 right now. We have some breaking news into the ABC 15 newsroom. Good morning, everyone. We have a giant fire that has erupted right along I-10 and I-17 there, just north of the stack. You can see the massive flames and the dark plumes of smoke here. This thing's spreading very, very quickly, and fire crews are just arriving on the scene. It started about 10 minutes ago here and has grown fairly quickly. This is an industrial area of the city, if you're familiar with it. Some breaking news into the ABC 15 newsroom. We said that we were following closely the Jody Arias trial, and we are. Just seconds ago, the uh, jury has announced they do have a verdict in this case. We're down here, and the crowd is really starting to gather, everybody. It's really getting crowded. In fact, you can kind of see as you look up on the steps, we have a lot of people with their smartphones documenting this and taking pictures. Of course, the media has gathered here. And there isn't a person that's in one of these uh, office buildings here that's actually doing any work right now. They're all looking out the windows and watching. One step in what's going to happen next now basically is they have to go back with this first degree murder and they have to decide was this cruel did she do this in a cruel way did he suffer in all of this and so they will have to deliberate on that as well to determine whether this is going to be a life sentence or a death sentence for Jody Arias. An update this morning to breaking news we told you about last night at 10 o'clock. Chandler police tell us one of their officers was involved in a shooting, and this happened on Fry between Alma School and Dobson. An officer did shoot a suspect who fired at him. No officers were injured. We do know that. And we're still working to get a condition on that suspect. We'll share that information with you just as soon as it comes into our newsroom. Another breaking news update out of Tempe to share with you now. And all 22 floors of the West 6th Tower remain evacuated. A water main forced people out of their homes for the night and into hotels. And at last check, nobody has been able to return. We're told a fire sprinkler pipe burst and the water came in contact with some of the building's electrical units. Staying in Tempe now, a new information on that Valley High School student who confessed to making a bomb at his home. Investigators say that they found three additional homemade bombs. But that's not all. They also found Tupperware filled with gunpowder in 16-year-old Joseph Prater's bad bedroom. The family's housekeeper originally tipped off police on Tuesday night. Prater is now out on bond, and he is back in court on May 15th. Welcome, everyone, to the 27th Annual APS Electric Light Parade. It is a beautiful but chilly evening. And, of course, checking out who's joining KEZ. That's Arizona Diamondbacks own D. Baxter, the Bobcat. Baxter is the most friendly fan mascot in all of sports and certainly a D-Bax fan favorite. And we know that Baxter loves to dominate every scene that he's in, <laughs> as we I can knew. see. Baxter, hey, Baxter, the we last were just talking you about you. you. Silly string dust, you didn't. <laughs> hey, we know who's your favorite, Woo! Baxter. That yes. Was, that was fabulous. Here that all these specialty programs we're talking about, it costs about $1.6 million to run PCH every single day. So they need the money uh, here to help with those specialty programs and to help break kids out there because tens of thousands of kids come through these doors every single year. So the arm wrestling tournament, do you think? Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. You just pushed, you lost. Did I? With yeah, two you hands? Meant to, yeah. Well, okay. Oh, I went the other way, didn't right. I? Right. Oh, I win. <laughs> Thanks. You can tell I play that a lot. Yeah, you're yeah. supposed to. <laughs> Beat okay. myself with two hands. <laughs> we'll try that again later when I, <laughs> when I learn the rules. They are roaring in Lakewood, oh. Colorado this morning. <laughs> the high school there won a contest to host a Katy Perry contest. 